this Okay, so obviously this is a continuation from yesterday's video and Nike allegedly is pregnant with CJ's baby and today I'm gonna go through all of that with you so let's get straight into the drama. After all the drama that happened, CJ making his video, royalty, Nike going on live, Instagram going back and forward. The next following day, CJ ends up uploading a video and he ends up responding to the situation. Obviously, because you know what, I really don't have nothing to do with none of this. I'm just focused on Kamar. And right First of all, you're a man. <laughs> you're the one who could really fix this. If anything, CJ's the one who instigated this whole thing and made it bigger than what it already was. As a man, you should be able to sit the two and sort it all out. So, I said what I said. What? I don't what? care about the weak ass twins. He then ends up talking about how he doesn't want to give Kamari back to Nike. Usual. Now, do I want to do this? No. Should I do this? Heck you no. Know. Why? Because I was promised that I can keep my child for a year. Not a couple of months, not halfway through the summer, or not when I change my mind and get an attitude. That wasn't in the original contract. The original contract was, I will continue to pay child support even when Kamari is here, as long as you let me get Kamari for a year. Now, Nike has released some receipts of the conversation between her and CJ talking about giving Kamari to CJ for a year and whatever. And I'm gonna keep it real, okay? And I have to be critical. If I'm wrong, any of the people that I'm talking about in this video, y'all can hit me up in my DMs. My DMs are open. And I will correct it in the next video. But why does it look like Nike is renting her child to CJ? It really looks like that. It's like, damn, you know he's done some bad-ish before, he's called your child a reject, all this other stuff, and he, it's like, it makes me think, was royalty right? Was royalty right talking about how he caps and does all these things just to have the ability to spend time with her daughter? Priority is paying off that. I don't give a f about your taxes, fam. This was your idea. I didn't have to let Kamari come out there and stay with you. The fact that I can always go on my part, do my part, and you can always get amnesia and throw, oh, I gotta pay this, I gotta do that, fam, you're weak. You're so weak. And, you know, it's just so sus. And Nike even confirmed that she was asking for more money from CJ. Hey, sorry for thinking you were being greedy and trying to use our child to get more money out of me at a bad time. You don't have to, but somehow you're still asking for more. I hope you don't owe all those whack-ass people in your video. Just makes it look like she's renting her child to CJ. Like, that's what it looks like. Like, it's a blockbuster DVD or something. Yeah, you can rent this for a whole year. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to leave me a comment. It helps me out a lot. Last time I posted a video, it got around 7,000 views within an hour. And I only had like 100 comments and Bruh. 100 likes. If at least 5,000 people were to leave a comment, this video would blow up. The channel will blow up. It gives us a bigger voice on this platform. People are most likely going to give me receipts and trust in me. And that means I'm able to have more accurate stories for you guys. Not only that, but I'm able to make more quality content for you guys and more consistent content. And not only that, I can start working on my vlog channel. I can start working on my gaming channel. It all starts by giving me your homeboy a tip. Not by money, but by liking and commenting. Unless you're hate watches and 7,000 people really hate me, but they just watch me and don't want to leave me a comment, then I understand. Have a blessed day! But if you're not and you really want to see me grow, leave a comment. First of all, and last of all, the only thing that should matter is how Kamari feels. And if you personally ask him, Kamari, come here! 
CJ so sad decides to put his daughter in the middle of all of this and you can just tell that it's an uncomfortable situation for her. How you feel about all this? Oh hell no! Bad. Bad? Is it crazy? Like, did you think you was really gonna be going to school out here with Carnation? How about you just shut the up and let me swim? I yes. feel bad! Of course you feel bad, girl. So are you like sad that you have to go back home now? Yes. Even though that was no original plan? Damn. Yes. Well, what about Dang. this? When I told you, if you keep being bad, I'm gonna take you back home, do you wish you didn't call your mom? Yes. Because you didn't really need to, did you? I mean, would you rather get a whooping? Exactly. You'd rather me tell you that if you keep being bad, I'm gonna take you home or whoop you and you rather me tell you that and that is what I'll I mean I think it's appropriate to tell her that and no I can't tell then he tries to convince his audience and everyone that she's like in like imprisonment or something back at home with Nike Schmidt to her right I mean I'm not even making this up you guys that watch my videos when I FaceTime Kamara it's almost like she's on punishment because she's home alone eating ice and cereal and that's just not what a kid is supposed to be doing man she about to be eight she need to be playing with other kids her age she need to be swimming in the swimming pool I'm watching baby but I gotta keep doing this video because a lot of people talking a lot of stuff now I gotta clear my name now baby yeah you have to clean your name because you put it out on the internet to begin with like the kids don't even want to get involved in drama they just want to swim in a damn pool about Kamari genuinely I care about how she feels better way look at the computer you reject how she thinks I care about how she's growing dude Start over, look at the computer first. Up, uh, I care about her and buy my way. Look at the computer, you reject. Oh my. Reject, reject, reject. Care about all of that. And it's if you really cared about her, you wouldn't be putting this situation out there to begin with. And can we talk about the lasagna? Your kid went back because she wanted seconds. How did she get seconds unless you left it out there in the open? People, when they have parties and organizations or whatever, and there's food out there for everyone to eat, guess what? It's expected to be eaten. Why didn't the grandma didn't take a little bit of lasagna and hide it in the fridge? Why couldn't she just do that? And then y'all get upset because she's hungry and she wanted to eat some food. Clearly, there must have not been any other food laying around for her to eat if she was hungry to get the lasagna. So a lot of people are blaming it on the kid. At the end of the day, adults know where to put the food if they want to bring some home in the damn fridge. I'm like rambling, but it's just because I'm super upset that all the things that are taking place. Like for instance, when my baby mama got on live, her whole intentions was to bash me and royalty. It wasn't to get her kid back or make sure her kid was doing good or she wasn't concerned about the child. She's concerned with my subscribers and my fans hating me. She doesn't want to see me doing better than her and that's obvious. And that is a massive projection because CJ, you're the one who posted the Bruh. video first. You posted the video there, making Nike look bad, throwing shade, making her look like a deadbeat mom, and she had no other way but to defend herself. That's the situation you created. Hello. You want you care so much about views. Just because he's big and has millions of views, that doesn't mean he doesn't want to make more views and more money. You can look at his tags. He was tagging Keemstar, Ulti O'Shea. He really wanted this video to massively go viral. Also, tactically getting people to pressure Nike, get CJ the ability to keep Kamari. Out of my mouth. You guys have to hear the pain that's inside of me, okay? To anybody. I'm gonna keep saying that because I am a positive individual. Oh my God! Wow! CJ, you just, you're so positive, CJ. You're such a perfect role model, you know? Positive people don't post out negative content to impact other people's lives in a negative way. This is for you, Nike, baby mama, Nike Catrice Lewis, whatever you go by. You knew me, but you don't know me. Okay, I've elevated and I've changed. I'm 30 years old. When I knew you, I was 22. I'm well past that, okay? I've done a lot of things in my life to get past, not even just you, but my past in general, and I'm not gonna allow you to bring me down. I'm not gonna allow you to drag me to your level. Well, bitch, it looks like you brought her to your level from what it looks like. She's young, okay? She could do a lot of things in the world besides bother me, but I'm still gonna do me, and at the same- Oh my God, poor CJ, he's the victim. He's getting bothered even though he's the one who posted the video first and really instigated this drama and doesn't know how to settle it 
and he's 30 years old, clearly you're still a man child. Doesn't make sense. And it definitely ain't over no lasagna, trust me, all right? All of you guys that are laughing and making jokes, the real deal is the house, okay? This happened before. If you've been watching us for longer than a year, then you already know. We moved into the old house of So Cool Land. We had the same issues, okay? Now we're going through it again. Her last argument was, he's enough of this man and his projection, his fallacies, his bull it's irritating. It hurts my head just listening to this man lie and the kids eating it because their parents ain't shit. CJ so fake has played you real hard. Let's move on to this whole pregnancy thing. Allegedly, Nike posted a picture of a pregnancy test and royalty end up reposting it on her Instagram saying, baby girl, stay off Google. This is not Nike, this is a fake account and I know exactly who's behind this fake account and I so knew it. I just, let me tell you how I know. So this person is basically, you know those birds that go down and eat dead animals after animals attack them. They just come down, they're these feral birds and just eat people's leftovers. That's what this person is. She is so foul that when drama happens, she sees opportunities to pretend to be other people to garner success from them. She said, my true video coming soon. Click in the link in my bio to subscribe to my YouTube channel. As a video of some girl with sweaty hands cooking tacos, okay? That was not Nike. There's a reason why the girl, when you watch the video, um, changed the voice. because you would recognize the voice not being Nike. Feeling sick? Go to oklauren.com. Don't go to it, it's most likely a scam. Video in the making. Click link in my bio and subscribe. Do you like mukbang videos? Yes, please pull a video of you eating and show your face. Backup account, Verikin. Now she's trying to get the people to go to other accounts. Mommy love you baby, I'm Kamari Bradley. Then she pretends she's deleting the real Kamari's account and tries to get the fans to go to her account because again she's trying to garner much success from this then she leaks a number anyway while all this was happening I was like you know what this is the same foul person that was pretending to be Chrissy's girlfriend's ex-girlfriend remember that video I made exposing it how there was fake accounts pretending to be Mila for K she was pretending to be Mila's ex-girlfriend. As soon as I was thinking that, she ended up posting this on her Instagram. The same girl that we busted last time pretending to be Mila 4K. So yes, Nike's not pregnant and Nike is not that messy. She doesn't do things like that. YouTubers are believing this, the T-Pages are believing this is Nike and posting it everywhere. So you guys kind of have an obligation to tell everyone that it's not her and tell everyone to go report this account for personation. Sad, she's exploiting Kamari, she's exploiting Nike, she's basically taking advantage of this whole situation by deceiving people and it wouldn't surprise me if this isn't her either and here she is <laughs> it's not her she's catfishing <laughs> i'm gonna catfish everybody like <laughs> i knew it Oh my god, I know it. It's just so funny, man, because I just knew it. I knew that was it. I love it when I'm right. You know what I'm saying? Here you are exploiting people and they're trying to pretend you're this girl or whatever and you're not. <laughs> oh, I love this, man. <laughs> You know how you're on Tinder, you're like, oh my god, this girl's hot, and then you take on the date, and she's like, hi, I'm here for the food. <laughs> <laughs> but all seriousness, do better, girl. Like, you probably in your 20s or something, dissing people's kids and all this mess. Do better, bro. Like, you can do better than that. If you thought the T ends there, guys, you're not wrong.
It gets more messier than that. Now, she's not the only opportunist in this situation. CJ So Cool saw this as a very good opportunity to play a prank on such a serious situation. He ends up pranking royalty, pretending that Nike's coming. Huh? I'm positive. Not lying. Um, not lying. What you about to put? Oh. She here. What the? Who you on the phone with? Come on, let's go. It was a prank, sucker! I love how she acts so hard, but then she calls people. Come get this mother face, and that's all my mama. I've had enough of this situation. Throwing him in the bin, done with the next drama. I'm done. I'm done talking about this trash bag for real. Anyway, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button with the bell so you don't miss out on any of the drama. Oh, yeah, and then last thing, I created a new Instagram account, so if you guys want me to talk about anything or want me to look into something, go to that Instagram account and share it with my team. That's the only reason why I've been able to up my editing skills because I have a team helping me now. Of course, I look things over, but yeah, it helps me out a lot. Go check that out. Anyway guys, I'll see you in another drama video.